So now let's see how we can work around with lens distortion filter inside of GIMP. So in order to work around with the lens distortion filter, you need to first of all go around onto the filter menu right here and then you need to go around onto distorts. And over here you can see that lens distortion is an option. So once you go around over here, then you can see that there are many options like there's the main right here that you can go around and change out to distort out the lens as you can see as if you're uh, looking from a wide lens or let's say for example, a zoom lens right here. You can go around onto the S only and then only affect the S as you can see right here just like this and you can also go around and change around the zoom level just like this to make sure that you are actually zooming in you can also go around and shift out so uh, so if um it seems like you're looking on the left hand side or right hand side on a picture and even go around and look at the top side and bottom side as well and work around with the brightness around the edges right here to have like a vignette effect as well so if I were to go around and change around the main, then you can see that there's a black background over here. So you can go around and change around the background color over here just like this as well. And you can go around and utilize, let's say for example, you can go around and merge it with the background right here uh, with the original uh, image as well. Or utilize multiply over here as well by using blending modes. Let me just go around and replace it and you can also go around change around the opacity as you can see right here. And you can see the split view to see the before and after as well. So let me just go around and change around the main right here just like this and shift around the S and this is what you have. So if I were to press OK, then you can see that this is the lens distortion filter that is applied onto the picture. So that is how you can apply the lens distortion filter inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>